Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how we can perform a k-means clustering using Nime. Certainly, you can use another tool like Veka for this, but uh, I will show you how you can do with the Nime. So uh, we will use a traditional data set, Iris data set, for this example. So there's Iris table, which you can download from Nime Hub. I will split the data as usual part of it for training and part of it for testing and using partitioning node you can see that I am sparing 5% for testing and 95% for training and I will do stratified sampling I can also do random drawing linear sampling take from the top but uh, I think the best choice will be stratified sampling meaning it will take into account how much data there is in the set and then proportionally uh, distribute so I have first and second partitioned so in the first partition I will feed to k-means for performing clustering and in this example if you look at the data i'll show you the data in just a second here we go we have iris setosa iris versica iris virginia so we have already labeled these uh, iris data from these features but actually these are not based on features we will be using features to label cluster them but uh, this is actually by observation they are said to be iris setosa iris versica versica and iris virginiaca so now closing this not knowing this i will see if i can figure out just looking at these four dimensions or four attributes what do i have i have sepal length sepal width, petal length and petal width so based on these four attributes only I'll try to see if I can actually come up with the correct cluster and eventually that will lead to class label so as you see I have three clusters or classes labeled now I'm going to search for three clusters but often you don't even know that and you can maybe use an elbow method to find how many clusters you may need at the optimum but uh, since I know it I said K as 3 that's the number of clusters I can use the first K rows first three rows for initialization or I can use a random initialization so that's an option to me to be consistent I will choose the first K rows so every time I run I will get the same centroids and then a stable example to show you and I will go up to 99 iterations I can increase that uh, before termination but this is ac actually my limit and I'm using all these four features four dimensions to search three clusters so I took the first partition I passed through k-means node next I will actually feed the test data and then assign the cluster to new data points so at the end of k-means I have labeled input so that's my label cluster I can sort if I wish basically these are as you can this is class label and this is what the cluster came up with I have Irish Versica 
it's cluster 1 but pay attention there is another iris versica but this time it's cluster 0 so this might be wrong cluster due to maybe noise in the data or some uh, border lines we, we miss but in general it does okay again there are certain limitations with k means then I have these three clusters 0 1 and 2 three clusters these are center points for these clusters with at four dimensions and finally I can also get the model there's a number of fields that I use and I use distance absolute difference to compare you can look at the mining scheme so I have three clusters and in each I have about uh, 37 for the first one 57 and 48 for the third second and third one and these are parameters that you can actually uh, use in an equation so this is now the data it's assigned basically what you do is cluster assigner so uh, you just pass this model this is the third compound third input output this is output from the k means pmml cluster model so that cluster assigner takes that model and then you fit with data right here that's your input data and then it will actually get you the assigned data so these are my test cases I spare and I have Iris Setosa, Iris Versica and Iris Virginia and I have these are the labels Iris Setosa 2, 2, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 so there is maybe a case either at a false positive or false negative or maybe this is all right but the others are wrong it can't be that because it is if iris versica is correct then likely this is iris virginica but it's mislabeled because it's already stated here that it's iris virginica so this might be a wrong cluster due to we know it's not perfect noise and others we can fail but this is how it works now i'm going to just demonstrate to you I have these three sets that I will actually label let's take a look at it and again I'm using class as a labeling parameter shape manager I have three clusters I have rectangle cross shape and triangle so I will overlay them here I will actually color actually you can just read the data so it actually takes the as an input that's tables with shapes and if you look at it I think this might not show sure, this is here sepal length versus sepal width and this is how it is clustered so we have four dimensions I can look in any combination like here but uh, you can clearly see some class depending on the dimension sometimes it may not look like very clear there is some definitely clear cuts for the diamonds here but not for triangles here but not for maybe the crosses here 
You can also look at class versus cluster. This is Iris Setosa and this is cluster 2, which is perfect. Iris Versico versus cluster 1. It's almost there. There's maybe a few errors here. There's Iris Versinica versus cluster 1. I made some errors here and there, but overall it looks pretty good. So this is basically how you can play with K-means clustering node uh, to make a basic clustering. Okay, see you in another movie.